Do you need an easy to build, infinitely expandable multi-item sorter? If so, this is the sorter for you. This multi-item sorter is able to sort any stackable items, meaning non-stackable items will not work. With that said, let's not linger and get to building. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is position the chest exactly how you want it. So make a wall of chest however you would like. I'm gonna be showing one slice of the system for explanation purposes, but note, unless otherwise stated, you can complete this for every column of chest at the same time. Behind each chest, place a hopper connected to it. You'll also need to add a hopper below the bottom hopper connected to nothing. Now starting with the bottom hopper, place a solid block behind every other hopper. Place a comparator with a copper bulb on each of these blocks pointing at the hoppers. On each of these copper bulbs, place a comparator pointing at the solid block, each with their own copper bulb controlling them. If you have done it correctly, it should look something like this from the side. Now we're going to program each of the copper bulbs. Each copper bulb is a toggle for the respective hopper, so getting this correct is key to the sorting system. To allow this to sort correctly, we need to turn on every other copper bulb. When it is all said and done, it should look like a checkerboard like so. The easiest way to do this is by turning them all on and then manually replacing every other bulb that needs to be turned off. Once you have the copper bulbs programmed, place a target block behind each of the inside copper bulbs. Make a redstone dust line that connects every target block to a single line. If your storage is longer than 15, we will need to add to adjustment to extend the signal. At the beginning of each of the lines, add a redstone repeater with a full delay. Now power this repeater and make sure the signal is making it to every target block. If it is not, you will need to add this adjustment. Right where the power runs out, add a redstone repeater and have it hard power a solid block. Now replace the target block touching the hard power block with a redstone dot. It may look like it's not connected to one of the copper bulbs, but it is. It's just a visual bug. But if it makes you feel better, you can just place another redstone dust on top of the copper bulb and power it that way. Repeat this process until your whole system can be powered. You'll want to double check that your fiddling did not mess with the program bulbs. After all that, decide what side of your system is going to be your input and what side is going to be your output. On the input side, connect all of the lines together if needed. At the top, add this pulse extender and a redstone repeater with a two tick delay. Add a target block and run your input line over this target block. This prevents most false rejects from happening. Now we need to add an item hopper clock. For this, add two hoppers facing each other separated from the machine. Place a solid block on the hoppers with a redstone torch connected to it. Now add two comparators, each reading the fullness of the hoppers. One of these comparators should be reading through a solid block. Place a solid block with a redstone torch on top of it so that they can be powered by the comparators you just placed. Between the two redstone torches, add one last copper bulb and place a comparator on the block facing the block with the torch powering the hoppers. Now place an observer looking at this redstone torch. Once you add items to the hoppers, it should start sending a signal every X amount of time. I recommend either adding a stack of items plus one or just 33 items. Now just connect the clock to the sorting system and it should periodically invert which bulbs are on versus off. What we need to do next is make item elevators to deliver the items to the next column of chest. From the bottom hopper, build two blocks down and three blocks towards the back of the system. Place the double chest here like so and replace the blocks you made with the hopper line that empties into this chest. Now below the chest, add an observer looking at the chest. Place a block behind it and a redstone repeater facing away from it, hard powering another block. On top of this block, place a dropper facing upward and place a hopper dumping into it from the chest. Now place a redstone torch on the block the repeater is powering and place a solid block above it with another redstone torch attached to it. On the block opposite of the torch, add either an activator rail or a powered rail. Now add an observer looking at it. Note, for every other elevator, you're going to want to alternate between powered and activator rail to keep the signal split from each other. Now build up a line of droppers from your dropper, extending up to however high your sorter is, and place a solid block behind each one like so. Now back to the rail. Build a tower that alternates between powered and activator rail, and the observer looking at the previous rail to the height of the elevator. Finally, place observers looking at the rail and observer towers so that it can power the dropper sequentially. You can test it by placing items in the hopper before the chest. You can use any type of item elevator, this elevator just makes the whole system silent. Once you know it's working, you can make hopper pipes to deliver the items to the next column of chest. I recommend extending the item elevator of every other column by two to allow for an easier hopper pipeline. For the lower hopper line, place one hopper on the top hopper and make sure it's not connected to anything. 
bring the line back one block and then one block over towards the previous item elevator, then it should be just be a straight pipe back to the item elevator. For the higher hopper line, start by placing the hopper in the same fashion as the lower and then build up two additional blocks. Now bring the hopper line over and towards the desired item elevator. Repeat this for every hopper line, and if you have set it up correctly, items should slowly work their way through this order. Now all you need to do redstone-wise is add a place for rechecked items to empty into and an input chest to start sorting. Lastly, we need to talk about how to use the system. Multi-item sorters work by finding an empty slot in a chest or by finding a like item to dump the item into a chest. For example, if we have an empty chest, every item is going to be dumped into this chest. But if we fill the entire chest with only items we want in the chest, these are the only items that are going to be allowed in the chest. All other items will have to wait until it finds an item that matches with it or an empty slot. So the last thing you will need to do is fill every empty slot in every chest with a filler item or the item you want to be sorted there. The best part about this sorter is that to program a new item into your sorter, all you need to do is put an item in one of the chests in the sorter. Once you have all this set up, you have a fully operational multi-item sorter. One thing to note is that there are two versions of the sorter, one that is faster and one that has more capacity. This video showed the one with more capacity. The faster one has some minor changes to the item piping, but the mechanics are all the same. If you want a more in-depth explanation of how multi-item sorters work, check out the short where I explain how they work. If you have any questions, comment them below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and happy sorting.